Hey there, it's me, Sapphire Moonbeam. And I'm gonna do a Lenormand and Oracle card reading. Wow, the cards we've gotten already are pretty darn good. Um, this is just a general reading. Not everything may apply to your life, but if you felt compelled to click on this video, I hope that there is a message of hope or inspiration here for you. The cards really are uh, pretty darn good. The first card there on the upper left is the moon. And then this is the stars. This is the house card. The birds. The stork. And the clover. The moon is about all matters of love and romance. It can be about dreams. It can be about intuition. It can also be about things that are hidden coming to light regarding a loved one or a romantic relationship. The moon also sometimes has to do with fame. Um, if you're an artist or a musician, you might be getting into a point where you're gonna be more in the limelight. And this goes nicely with the stars card because this is all about your wishes and dreams. Everything you, your biggest wishes and dreams that you'd like to see come true. And there's a ship right here. That means your ship is about to come in. But it also indicates forward movement. So if, if you've been waiting for something big to have a nice break, like your big break, it should be coming soon. This is the house card. And the house is all about all matters of domestic life, family, friends. It... If this is an indication that your hopes and dreams and wishes are coming true, you might be moving into a bigger house or just a different house. Um, the birds card is about communication, all forms of communication. It can sometimes be about gossip and chatter, but I normally see a more positive side to this card. This is also indicating a couple so it could be a friendship or a business partnership or it could be a love relationship. If this is a love relationship, both parties look like they're ready to fly. The stork is a card about new beginnings and rebirth and new birth, uh, a new season, something that has a brand new start, which could be directly related to the wishes hopes and dreams. And then the clover card. It's a it's an, a lucky card. It's about exceptionally good luck. You couldn't ask for anything much better than that card right there. That's a really great card. So now what I'm going to do is kind of add a few more cards into the mix and see if we can get this message that's trying to come through kind of elaborate a little bit more. The first card I'm going to grab is for the moon. And it just flew right out of the deck. And this is the whip and the broom. And the whip and the broom is about, it can be about arguments and disagreements and quarrels. It can also be about being very passionate about something. And it can be about getting your ducks in a row regarding love and romance, dreams, intuition, that sort of thing. Let's pick a card for the stars. And this is another card of the birds. And it's also, I always see this one for sure as a couple. And as you can see in this card, this rendition of the birds, they're building a nest together that um, the sun rays are always about hope for me. You can see there's a, a branch there in that one's beak. They're both working on a new nest. And that's could very easily be tied in with your biggest hopes and wishes and dreams. If you've been single, there's two cards here regarding couples. This is the writer card. The writer brings news. The writer brings fast approaching news. 
There's also a little satchel here that, and there's a letter. So there's something coming in. You're gonna find out some new information. The uh, writer brings good news. There's the rainbow. Rainbows are about hope. Rainbow after the storm that you may have been experiencing. She, it's dark behind her, but it is light where she comes. It could be regarding a house. It could be a, the sale of a house that you've been waiting on. It could be um, that you've sold one or you're ready to buy one. It could be just news regarding your family. Let's pick a card for these birds on the bottom left. Ooh, did you see that? It just flipped right over. So that is the card of the clouds. The clouds can be about a time period of confusion. If you're not sure about this couple, if you're not sure about this partnership, if you haven't been in a relationship for a while, the birds are telling you to communicate. You need to communicate in order for it to succeed. There are also birds in this card and they're on the sunny side of it. So there's a lack of clarity right now in a relationship. Once those clouds blow off and, and go off into the distance, there will be more clarity regarding a relationship and the brand new start. Speaking of the start, let's get another card here for the stork. And this, the card we got is the magnifying glass. And this is telling you regarding this new beginning, take your time with it. Don't rush in and be sure to take a closer look. Now, if the new beginning is involving a house, Look at the fine details if you're selling or buying a house. Really take your time to look at the contract and the terms. Um, it's just a cautionary card. It doesn't say anything is going to be bad. It's just telling you not to jump into something too quickly. Take a closer look. Let's pull a card for the clover. Okay, so we got the fish. The fish are about success, prosperity, abundance, financial flow. That combined with the good luck card is an excellent sign. It also is interesting to me that there's two fish going in the same direction. A friendship, a partnership, a romantic you know, um, partnership because the fact that they're in water Water flows, emotions flow. This is a good sign. It's it's calm water. It's not it's not going. Um, it's not. You know what the word is. I'm. I'm <laughs> it's very peaceful. It's very calm. It's not like there's waves. That's what I was trying to spit out. Um, I'm gonna pull just maybe one or two cards from this Kipper deck. So this first deck is called the Healing Light Lenormand. The second deck is called the Gilded Reverie Lenormand, and then this is a Kipper deck. And a Kipper deck is a little bit different, but it's it's got the same types of messages in one form or another. It, it elaborates on issues a little bit, and um, it brings a little bit of a different meaning. So with this new beginning and the magnifying glass, I'm gonna pull a card for that. But it, these are considered fortune-telling cards. Let's pick that one. Okay. The new beginning. So the child card can also indicate something that's brand new, something that is starting off small. Um, it can represent being very innocent and naive, but as I said, also simple and small. So this is maybe the beginning stages of the new phase that's coming into your life. This card could also indicate uh, a child coming into your life, um, whether it's a pregnancy or an adoption. If there is anything involving a legal document, take a really good close look at it before you get involved. 
this also could be reminding you to have a very childlike spirit and roll with these changes and try not to take them too seriously. It's hard though. We all tend to do that. I'm going to pick a card here for the clouds and that set of birds. Okay, too many fill out. I'm going to take the top one. Okay. So we got the card called Community, and it's number 39. And this is, the literal meaning is friends and community. Um, it's about having support, being understood, and finding the place that you belong. The community is always there for you. It describes all people with whom you feel a connection family, relatives, friends, like-minded people. It can also describe a group or an association of people. If this is about a partnership of some sort regarding love, it describes a harmonious relationship and you have the support of the people around you. It's about the people in the community being true and loyal and having help for group efforts. So I'm going to pull one more card from the Lenormand deck again for the whip and the broom and that just fell right out. So the ship is about forward movement, just like the ship we got here in the dream in the star card about the wishes and dreams. So there's two ships. And it's a really interesting card because in the Lenormand deck, the mountain always represents an obstacle. And this is showing that you are going to be able to fly and soar high above that obstacle and get past it. This is also the card of successful business and successful commerce. It can also indicate a trip or a vacation, going somewhere far away, going abroad, or someone visiting you from afar. But it's definitely forward movement, and um, it's kind of like bridging the gap between people and places and those sorts of things. Let me pick one more card from my Moonbeam Magic Oracle Card Deck. If you've seen my other videos, you know that these are all cards that I painted over several years. And this is my self-published Oracle Card Deck. It does come with a guidebook. And you can find out more by going to moonbeammagicdeck.com. Let's get one card here for a nice send-off message. This, my deck is very easy for anyone to use, beginners to use. You can get a nice one card a day sort of message, or if you're having a rough day, this is the kind of deck that's gonna help you through it. So we got Radiate Love, and this other one kind of just acts like it wants to come out too. Love is infinite. I did some other readings today, and that Love is Infinite came out more than once. But first I'm going to read to you the description for the Radiate Love card. And my my book here has the card description and then it has an affirmation at the end of each one. So the description I wrote for Radiate Love is love is what we are, love is all around us. When you live your life with your with an open heart and radiate love energy, your relationships improve. The love you put into this life is what you will get out of it. Do not hold back. Live your life with your heart wide open. Radiate love. The affirmation is, I will live with an open heart. I will radiate love. There needs to be a lot of love if there's all these new beginnings and relationships and um it's, it's just a good, good idea. It's just the way to go. Don't hold back. You only live this time once, right? <laughs> this is love is infinite. 
The love we carry in our hearts for our friends and our loved ones remains with us always. Love never dies. Be comforted if you have recently lost a loved one. Love energy never dissipates, it never leaves. Invite the love of your loved ones to surround your spirit. Open your heart and let the love energy flow into you. Trust and know that the love you share with your friends and loved ones is infinite. The affirmation is, love energy is always around me. Love never dies. These two go nicely together, really, since they're about love, radiating love, love energy, and the love from a loved one does not die. It's always there. It's energy. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. If you hit the little wiggly bell the, at the right, you will get a notification via email when I upload a new video to my channel. And I hope you have a really wonderful night.